Hi 4K friends, this is Mrs. Burns, your art teacher. And today we're gonna to talk about a very important tool. This tool we use a lot in the art room and I know that you have this tool in your classroom too. What is this tool right here? That's right, it's a scissors. And what do we use scissors for? What do they do? They cut paper. Yeah, they cut paper. That's why we use scissors in the art room. So let's talk a little bit about scissors. These scissors are adult scissors. These fit my hand the best. But I'm going to talk more about these scissors right here. These are smaller scissors, perfect for your little hands. And um, let's dive into scissor safety. So if you are ever walking around the room with your pair of scissors. This is one thing I'd, I'd like you to really practice. When we walk around the room, remember I said walk, we never ever run with scissors. When we walk around the room, you're gonna hold your scissors just like this. Make sure the blades are closed and you're gonna hold your scissors just like this. This is how we hold scissors when we're walking around the room. Another thing with scissors is we never ever point or poke anybody else with scissors. Definitely not. That's, that's a phone call home if that happens. We're super, super safe and super kind to our friends. Um, another thing too is scissors, like I said before, are used for cutting paper. Not for cutting anything else. Okay, so we use scissors to cut paper in the classroom. So how we hold scissors. So here's the blade, here's the handle. Scissors open and close, open and close. So your hand, your fingers are going to go inside these holes. Your thumb goes inside the littlest hole and it's always at the top your fingers go inside the bigger hole. So some people hold their scissors just like this. Some people stick their pointer finger and their middle finger like this. And you always cut away from you. I see a lot of students who cut like this with their thumb below and they cut to the side. I want you today to practice cutting with your thumb at the top and you're cutting away from you. So here's where I am. This is where my body is. I'm cutting away with my thumb at the top. Okay, so we're gonna practice that today. So I have a practice sheet with what shape on it? What is that? It has one, two, three, four sides and two sides are really long and the other two sides are really short. This is a rectangle. So I'm gonna practice cutting this rectangle with my purple scissors. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna separate these two groups of rectangles. So I'm gonna have you cut right in between this space right here. It'll be a little bit easier for cutting all the rectangles out. So again, thumb at the top for your scissors and then thumb at the top when you hold your paper. So my thumbs are hanging out at the top. I'm holding my paper. I'm gonna cut away from my body. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut away all the way to the top. And when I'm cutting, I'm opening and closing my scissors. So now I have two groups of three. I want to set this one off to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to separate each one of these rectangles. So let's go ahead. Let's see. We're going to keep cutting the space in between so that we have three different rectangles. So this space right here, I'm gonna go ahead, I want you to go ahead and practice cutting. So you have one rectangle 
that's not fully cut out yet. Two, three, and then we're gonna do the same thing. So we're not cutting on the black lines yet. We're just cutting on the white space so we can separate our rectangles. Okay, so now we have a pile of rectangles ready to go. So now let's concentrate. So we are going to now go on the black line and we're going to cut straight up, cutting away thumbs at the top. Go ahead and just cut straight up. Now you're gonna have a scrap piece of paper. What I'd like you to do is put that off to the side away from the rest of your rectangles. We'll, we'll clean that up later. And then you're gonna turn your rectangle around. Go ahead and cut straight up. So it looks like this. We'll put the scraps off to the side. Scraps off the side. And then I have a nice, clean cut rectangle. All right, I'm gonna have you do that with the rest of them. So going on the black line, cutting all the way to the edge, turning your rectangle Cutting all the way to the edge. Last one. Try your best to stay on that big black line. Okay, that's number two. I have my rectangles in a pile over here and then my scraps in another pile so I can clean up nice and easily. Remember, thumbs at the top. Okay, that's number three. Oh, we're halfway there. Halfway there, friends. This is good practice for you. All right, here we go. All right, number four. All the way to the edge. Okay, last one, everybody. Good work today. Okay, excellent job. Now you have six rectangles and a big pile of scraps. What do you think we should do with this big pile of scraps? What I like to do is I like to get them all in my hand and I like to crinkle them up, all of them, work those fingers crinkle them up and then you're gonna go ahead and throw them in the blue recycling bin in your classroom. Okay, we'll put those in the blue recycling bin. And now you have six rectangles and you can add maybe some cool pictures or cool colors or designs to these and take them home with you today. Good work everybody.